What's the deal about battery packs? What is happening friends? Welcome back to the channel where we're all about backpacking, bikepacking, outdoor lifestyle. My name is Rob Pelton. Thanks for tuning in. First things first, just to get it out of the way, if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button right down there. That way you don't miss any of the videos that drop. I usually drop videos every Thursday or Sunday, sometimes some Thursday, sometimes some Sundays. But today I wanted to talk to you about battery packs. How do these things actually work? Well, it's simple. You just take this and you plug it into this and it charges. But yeah, I know. That's, that's, yeah, I, I know. But how does it actually work? How do you know how many times this will charge this? Or this will charge this or this? Is there a simple way to figure that out? There is and there isn't. Let's do some story time. I have here in front of me a bunch of battery packs and these serve different purposes just depending on the duration of my trip. If it's an extremely long trip, I'm going to take big boy. If it's going to be just like an overnighter, I'm going to take little guy. Now truth be told, I use more battery power than most backpackers or bike packers because I'm filming. I'm using my iPhone 13 right now, and that's what I use to primarily film. So I need more power to charge that thing up to make these videos for you to watch. But one would think that the capacities are all absolute. Like if this has so much power, then I should be able to divide this into this and I get how many times I can recharge this. Is that right? No. Let's look at an example. This giant jar of water is your battery bank. So this is this or this, right? Do you know how I know this is a battery bank? I actually wrote battery on it. And this represents your device. Now what's the device? It could be a lantern. It could be a GPS tracker. Headlamp, that's what this represents. Now, in this big battery bank, there are 64 units, okay? We'll call them power ounces. There are 64 power ounces into this. This device only needs 16 power ounces, right? So one would think, well, there's 64 in here. I only need six. I only need 16 to charge this up. The simple idea is I should be able to take my battery bank and fill my device up to capacity. Now my device is full of power. I should be able to use all of that. And when my device is empty, I can take my battery bank and fill it up again. And I can use my device again, right? So now that's twice. I was able to use two charges from this to this. Now that would be the simple math, but it doesn't quite work like that. There is a math equation to help you figure out how that works. Like these battery banks have something called milliamp hours. And that is a unit of measurement that is super complicated and I am not smart enough to explain it to you. But just because this has 64 milliamp hours doesn't mean I can charge this with 16 milliamp hours. Am I making sense? Does this make sense at all? Anyways, so essentially what happens, there is a math equation that tells you what the actual output capacity of any given battery bank would be and how many times you can charge your device. And all this has to do with power loss and transfer rates. So whenever you're taking your battery pack and transferring power into your device, there is a loss of power. There's also a rate in which this can give off power and this can receive power. And this isn't a full 64 ounces. This battery cannot hold up 100% of that capacity. So there's some loss there, some storage loss there, and there's transfer energy and power transfer loss when you're transferring from the battery bank to the device. Now, the formula that I use to figure this out is right here. I'll also leave a link to where I figured that out down in the description of this video. That's the example. I hope you're following me so far. The four battery banks that I have will go from large to small. It's not going to stand, is it? And like I said, this all depends. Check that out. 
This all depends on what I need for power for my trip. I'm leaving on a big trip today, as a matter of fact, and I'm gonna be taking one of these power banks with me. But how do I know? This power bank is 26,800 milliamp hours. This is 20,000 milliamp hours. This is 13,000 milliamp hours. And then this little guy is 6,700 milliamp hours. The devices that you may think of charging are things like your headlamp, especially on a multi-day trip. You wanna make sure this stays topped off. Maybe a lantern if you wanna illuminate you know, your camp life. I don't use this a lot, but some people do, so this would be an example. This is my bike computer made by Wahoo. Uh, if I'm on a longer trip, this will need to be topped off as well. And then of course, you should have your, your emergency signaling device that should be stayed charged as well. Now all these have battery capacities, just like these battery packs. So the inReach, for example, 1250 milliamp hours, right? So this little battery pack couldn't charge this all the way. The big one could, and I did make a conversion chart just to give you an idea of what that looks like. All these battery packs, like, like I said, whoa, are for different uses. And this particular one is made by Evatronic, Evatronic. They actually sent this to me for review and it's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack. And just to give you an example of how many times this Evatronic battery pack will charge these things, my headlamp, which is the smallest battery capacity, this Evatronic 20,000 milliamp hour battery will charge this 21 times from empty to full. My inReach Mini, this battery pack will charge this 10 times from empty to full. My bike computer, empty to full, five times. My little Remoji Lantern, it'll recharge this from empty to full three times. And my iPhone 13, which I'm recording on, you know what an iPhone looks like? I hope you know, this is what it looks like. It'll recharge my phone from empty to full three times. Now, obviously not all of these at the same time, just in particular devices and you can you know, mix match uh, as you will. The only thing that I see myself recharging on this trip is gonna be my phone and probably my in-reach device. I don't think my battery will need to be topped off because you're only using this like, you know, for a couple hours every single night. The one thing that I do like about the Evatronic is its form factor. I like the fact that it will fit right in my ditty bag as a high capacity power bank. It stays in my ditty bag and it fits very, very well. It's got a little heft to it, which it would need to because it's got a big battery capacity. And if you're wondering what this thing weighs, I'll tell you. This weighs 14.9 ounces or 421 grams. A couple of other things that I like about this battery bank. It also tells you as a digital readout of what your battery capacity that's left in here. This is fully charged. And obviously as it gets lower, 50%, 20%, you'll know this. So if you are able to stop somewhere where you can recharge this, it'll let you know uh, how far you are from topping this off. A couple of other things are the inputs. This can charge via USB-C, which is a very, very fast charge, or it could also charge with a USB mini, which is a more common cable right now, but it will charge slower. But the outputs, two regular USB outputs and one USB-C output. So I could charge three devices at the same time. So if I'm charging up somewhere, I can charge my inReach mini, I can charge my headlamp, and I can charge my phone all at the same time. The one thing when you're out on trail and you need to recharge your electronics on multi-day, multi-week trips, you want to be sure that you can charge this very, very efficiently. So Evatronic also sent me their wall charger. Now this is a high efficiency, high voltage wattage uh, wall charger. So this has two USB-C outputs and a USB output. So using a USB-C cord, this will charge this a lot faster and a lot more efficiently. So that way when you're running short on time, you'll be able to get a faster charge faster. That's the history on battery banks. Do you have questions? What do you use? Do you find yourself only needing something like this? If you wanna know what this little 6,700 milliamp hour will charge, I'll tell you. It'll charge my iPhone once. It'll charge my lantern once 
my bike computer, twice. My InReach Mini, three times. And my headlamp, seven times. So you can see the difference here. So if you wanna know what your battery actual usage is or per charge per device for your battery pack, use that formula. Again, this is what I used. These are basically averages but it'll give you a good representation on how many charges you can actually get out of your battery banks. If you want more information on the Evatronic power bank, I'll leave a link to the description below so you can check that out. It's an Amazon product, very, very easy to get. But otherwise, make sure you're charged up, get on trail, make sure your adventure is as big as you can get it with the safety protocols that you need. Thanks for stopping by, get out on trail.